Man, it is wonderful to be here with you guys. I've never been to Utah before. I'm from Oklahoma. Anybody ever been to Oklahoma? Anybody who has not been to Oklahoma? Don't worry about it. You're not missing much. <laughs> Save your sky miles, okay? Uh, <laughs> going to Oklahoma is kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like drinking pee. You don't actually have to experience it, yet you still know exactly what it's like. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, if, if Oklahoma was a movie, it'd be called Fifty Shades of Brown. It just... <laughs> So it's not a booming postcard industry out of Oklahoma. Let's just put it that way. All our postcards are reversed. Instead of wish you were here, ours say wish we were there. We just send them out. It works like Christmas cards. Pew! We just we send them out. But I can make fun of Oklahoma because I actually did not grow up there. I grew up in Michigan. Anybody from Michigan? You escaped. You escaped. I, you must like employment. I know. I, <laughs> it's good, though. It's good. I, I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, okay? Uh, technically a suburb, but I feel tougher saying I'm from Detroit than I do when I say I'm from Flat Rock. <laughs> so I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. Now, as you could imagine, perhaps, if you were, you know, tasked to move to a state like Oklahoma, there's something pressing on my mind. And I wanna walk you through what it's like for someone like me to move to that state who is known for these death-sucking funnels that come out of the sky. <laughs> Any minute, you're just chilling and you're dead. It's worrisome <laughs> for people like me. Now, in Detroit, where things are certainly prone to go sideways sometimes, usually with guns and murder, but we like to have an emergency plan, even if that plan is to run. If the police walked in here right now, I'm gone. I didn't do anything, doesn't matter. Somebody did, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I moved to Oklahoma, the first thing I want to know is what do we do in the case of a tornado? I find this guy in my neighborhood wearing cargo pants. Because I figured any grown man still wearing cargo pants spends his life in a crisis. <laughs> Some of you got a little insecure, you're like, I'm wearing cargo pants. <laughs> So I asked this guy, I say, hey, if a tornado comes, I asked him what you would probably ask. What do we do if a tornado comes? He looked at me like I was crazy. He said, well, you go outside and you watch. <laughs> and sure enough, the first tornado comes. I'm freaking out. I got my family in the bathtub duct taped to a mattress. And I look outside the front yard and in his front yard, it's cargo pants staring at the sky like this. I said, what are you doing? You're about to die. He said, maybe. So that's what it's like living with these people. I thought they were fearless until one day it snowed. <laughs> Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips, and watch my whole special.